welcome back to my channel it's your girl cc or khadija and we are back at it again today with another video and in today's video we are going to be reacting to is it permissible for you to pray in english now if you're a revert like myself this may be a question that you have or you had so yeah guys we are going to find out in today's video if it is permissible for us to pray in english or not so let's get straight into the video shall we Imagine if we were allowed to start our salah and to use, I'm not going to use the term prayer because now you know what I'm talking about. Prayer, according to what I believe, uh, is a terminology that's only used to refer to salah which is not actually translated as prayer in its whole sense. Okay, and I explained that a little bit earlier. So imagine if we were allowed to have that in all our languages. So how would we translate Allahu Akbar? Can someone say it? Someone say it. Allah is the greatest. That's one. And secondly, Allah is greater. That's another one. Akbar. Akbaru means greater. It can refer to the greatest. It can refer. Allah is the greatest. Okay. Allahu Akbar. Okay. Someone might say, well, let's analyze the term Allah as well. You know, why should I say Allah is the greatest? You know, I rather say my maker is the greatest, but actually that's a wrong translation. But I could say, the worshipped one is the greatest because Al-Ma'luhu Hu Allahu. You go back to the Arabic language, Allah is the worshipped one. Who is the worshipped one? Whoever made me. So I can say, whoever made me is the worshipped one and the worshipped one is the greatest. We would argue all night about what exactly to say. Solve your problem, just say Allahu Akbar and everything is done. Okay? Secondly, what would happen to the Quran? The Quran is the word of Allah, right? That's what we believe. It's the word of Allah. But the English language translation is only man's attempt to explain to you what he believes is the closest to that which Allah meant by his words. That's all. That's the reason why generally when you find a translation Quran, it is very strongly encouraged to have the Arabic on one side and the English in order to you know, to act as an indemnity to say, you know what, listen to this. This is the word of Allah. This is just my attempt to explain to you what I believe is the closest explanation for that word of Allah. I could be wrong. Man's translation can be wrong, but the word of Allah is never wrong. This is why today someone was asking me, what's the best translation? And I said, you know what, Sahih International, together with the explanations of the context text of the revelation of the verses plus an explanation of those verses that are not easily understood by the people with a little commentary and that would be much better than just a word for word translation just like the bible i've read the bible the old testament the new testament and i can tell you something there is a lot that can be misunderstood from it. If you don't know the context, you don't know how to understand it, you don't know, you know the deeper knowledge of it, you won't understand it in its totality. The same applies to the Quran. You may not understand it. You will need explanation. Some of those verses, a lot of them you will understand. But mashallah, if you want to derive benefit, you are going to need to learn from someone. You're going to need to ask questions. I mean, you will see verses that have a context that is very different from what people are trying to make it seem sometimes. Different context. So my brothers and sisters, if I were to read in a different language, we would argue over the meaning of Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Praise be to God, Lord of the, praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds. That's what most would say, right? Someone would say, no, 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 you can't say that. You actually, and then we would start arguing and so on. Instead of getting on with our prayer, we would be debating over what exactly is the meaning, the precise meaning, okay? You know what Allah says? You have to do it in the Arabic language. Number one, we promise that we're going to preserve the book one of the ways of preserving the book is to make sure that every muslim on earth whether they speak arabic or not memorizes at least three short chapters that won't take you longer than 24 hours to memorize in order for them to be able to fulfill this prayer the way we want them to fulfill it so that every muslim on earth 
will have contributed towards the preservation of the Quran by knowing a minimum of three chapters of this Quran off by heart without even knowing its meaning at times. But they know the pronunciation. Look at this young boy. Do you speak Arabic? You don't. He read Surah Al-Fatiha. He read it eloquently, clearly. He read it with the rules and regulations, almost all of them. And he doesn't know Arabic. Isn't this book preserved? How is it preserved? The non-Arabs are reading it at times better than the Arabs. Now, at the end, when he asked the young boy if he knew how to speak Arabic, and he said no, but he was able to recite the Quran, Surah Fatiha, properly. Now, in my opinion, I believe that it's, it's only right for you to understand what you are saying. So not just reciting alone, you also have to try to understand what you are saying. And of course, you know, we are all trying to learn the Arabic language so we can be able to read the Quran properly and accurately. But alongside with that, I also think that it's important to know it in English as well, just so you have some sort of understanding of what you're actually reciting. I think this is something that unfortunately is missed when it comes to... Um, Islam and recitation a lot of people just focus on the recitation alone without actually understanding what they are reciting um, But that's not the point of the video. The point is why? Do we have to pray only in Arabic now from the explanation it all boils down to um, The translation when the Quran is translated into English. It's not as powerful um, Reason being is because the words that are used in the Arabic language in the Quran are much powerful And you can even say that it's even supernatural the words are Words that at times we are not able to explain hundred and ten percent so with that translating it into english now it would be just based on your own perception so it's very important for us to try and understand the arabic language as well to learn it that is one of my goals inshallah and a point about the quran being in arabic is that it's so unique to the point whereby no one nobody on this planet has been able to replicate it now many of us are aware of the challenge in the quran that you know if you believe if you think that this is not from allah try and replicate it but nobody in the 1400 years that the quran has been given to us nobody on this planet has been able to replicate it and thus because of how unique that language is now i hear a lot of arguments that you know we shouldn't um only pray in arabic um we should also pray in whatever language we feel most comfortable in and now this comes down to knowing the difference so we have the mandatory prayer which has to be in arabic and then we have dua now dua you can pray it in whatever Ever language you wish when you're making dua you can pray it in English you can pray it in Spanish you can pray it in Italian you can play it in Korean any language of your choice you are allowed to make a dua in but when it comes to prayer actual prayer the five daily prayers they have to be done in Arabic and you know when you're translating things into a different language occasionally it may lose its meaning and therefore may not be able to convey the full message of what the Quran is actually saying anyways guys that brings me to the end of today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and gained some knowledge and inshallah I will see you guys in the next one please don't forget to like comment share and please don't forget to subscribe and take good care of yourselves. Assalamu alaikum everybody.